What's up, you guys? Avery here, bringing you guys upload number two of the night, talking about how Jeff freaking Jones has completely broken open link summoning. The floodgates are open. The water is running out. There's nothing that can be done. The Yu-Gi-Oh! wall is not strong enough to hold back this power. It's over 9 freaking thousand. Or if you watch the sub, it's technically over 8,000. Its power is maximum like Broly. There's nothing that you can freaking do about this combo. It's worse than Hulk Hogan tying your neck in a headlock. <laughs> but yeah, you guys... It's freaking Link Summoning, fam. Like, woo! <laughs> yeah, you guys. Jeff freaking Jones has broken Link Summoning. Now, it might be kind of hard to tell what these cards are um, since I'm basically making a video on a video. Um, but I highly suggest that you guys go and watch either Bexy's video of Jeff Jones doing this or um, Capital G's video um, just because that you'll really see for yourself what the combo is i'm just going to kind of be discussing it and of course link summoning in general um but just to kind of tell you what this ending board is we have a firewall dragon here here and here and then we have honeybot right here now what honeybot does is monsters that are linked to it can't be destroyed in battle and they can't be targeted by card effects and the firewall dragons, they all have an ability where um, if one of the cards that's linked to it is sent to the graveyard, you can uh, special summon a monster from your hand. So basically, to make a long story short, he abuses the firewall dragons in order to constantly get monsters on the field and to get monsters back from his graveyard so that he can constantly play out dandelion tokens. Then he synchros with a thousand blade that he has right here into Naturia Beast. Well, because Naturia Beast is here and Honeybot is here, Honeybot is protecting the Naturia Beast from being destroyed by battle, and it can't be targeted by card effects. And, yeah, Naturia Beast is just busted in, a, in of itself. So if you try and activate, let's say, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, since that obviously doesn't target, Naturia Beast can negate your spell destruction. You try and Dark Hole it, negate. You try and play Ragekki, Mill 2, negate. And then if you try and target it, like, I don't know, Soul Taker, and for some reason, they don't want to negate with a Naturia Beast. Oh, Honeybot, you can't target it anyway, tee -hee. Um, And then, of course, you just got Firewall Dragons, because it's Firewall Dragon. <laughs> like, why not, right? Like, just add insult to injury. Completely busted uh, turn one opening combo. If this is what we have to look forward to, to Link Summoning, the, in this upcoming format in uh, August, or whenever we get this stuff... I'm not excited, <laughs> like I am, th because I liked. I will be more than happy to do this combo and to just look at my opponent and say, "Have fun." <laughs> but at the same time, I'm also not excited because I know people are absolutely going to hate this with a fiery passion. Because everybody wants Link Summoning to basically bring Yu-Gi-Oh back to its roots in a sense. People want Yu-Gi-Oh to be able to be slower. People want T setting to actually be a good play. Uh, for those of you who aren't very familiar with uh, terminology in Yu-Gi-Oh! T-setting is basically like setting a bluff card and setting a monster and like that's it. That's literally your board. You just pass turn. You set one card and set a monster and pass. That's pretty much T-setting in a nutshell. Um, you do that now in like say a Zodiac format, you're gonna get decimated. Like you're just gonna get completely obliterated by any deck in the game that is some way relevant between the tiers of one to five. <laughs> like T setting is is irrelevant. There's no bluffing going on in this format. Like if you have game, you're telling your opponent that you've got game. Like when I was at locals the other night, if I had game after turn one and my opponent couldn't break my board, I pretty much drew for turn, looked at my hand, and said, "Yeah, I've got game." And then I just proceeded to smack everything on the board and win, because <laughs> you know it's it's better than wasting time in the round and just going on to the next game or getting done with the match not because i'm trying to be a jerk to my opponent but i'm just telling them straight up i've got game <laughs> so <coughs> yeah making slow plays and you know trying to exchange blows card for card it's just not something that's good anymore um obviously the game of Yu-Gi-Oh has evolved over the years from you know 2002 format with blue eyes versus dark magician with starter decks and crap um and then obviously, 
going into a format where pendulum summoning is on a power level of 15 and the game of Yu-Gi-Oh itself is on a power level of 7 and then Konami retracting and actually making correct changes. But this combo is absolutely busted. Uh, you use a plant engine with Lone Fire and Dandelion and stuff like that. So I could definitely see this being in like a plant deck along with, you know, of course, Malay of the Trees and you can play Brilliant Fusion and Plants. So I could definitely see this being in like a, I guess you could say, um, some form of like a plant, uh, uh, not plant synchro, because it doesn't really synchro. Um, but like plant, I guess to evolve it into 2017 instead of plant synchro, call it plant links, <laughs> like or link plants. Um, God, there there's so many stupid deck names now. Now in the top, instead of seeing zodiac kaiju, we'll see zodiac links and 60 card infernoid links and 60 card paleozoic links, and then Legend of Zelda link links. Like it's, I I don't know. Um, but yeah, you guys. This is an insane combo. I highly suggest you go and watch the video. I just wanted to talk about this and get y'all's thoughts on it. Are you guys excited to see something like this? Are you guys not looking forward to potentially seeing this turn one? And then you just looking at your hand and being like, even if I kaiju you, it doesn't matter. Like, pretty much my entire hand's dead. Let's just go to game two. Because really, what can you do against this board? Any spells you activate, Nat Beast is just going to negate. You can't pop this thing by battle or target by a card effect. The most you can do is go interrupt a kaiju slumber and, or, um, excuse me, drop a kaiju on the Nat Beast. And then go interrupt a kaiju slumber, I guess. Um, assuming that, you know, they don't have a back row or anything and can't really, you know, stop your plays other than this. But it's just the fact in general that just it's been blown out of the floodgates. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, this is complete tier zero. Konami needs to ban all this now because, you know, we haven't even hit Link Summoning yet. There might be other things that come out that, you know, make this look irrelevant. Or, you know, we might find you know, a deck that can counter this easily. I don't know. It, it, it all depends. We've got months to figure out what we're going to do about Link something. But anyways, I rambled on long enough. Like I said, please go and watch Cap G's video on it or Vexy's on his channel. Thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you've not already.